Hi, my name is Maureen Watson, and I'm a student at SUNY Plattsburgh, finishing up my RN to BSN program. And today I'm doing a presentation about what patients want to know about their medications. The goal of this presentation is to stress uh, that how important it is that patients get all the information about their medications, not only prior to giving them the medications in the hospital, but also prior to discharge for home. Okay, objectives. By the end of this presentation, all you participants will at least get be able to identify three pieces of uh, uh, inf important pieces of information to be given to the patient prior to you giving them the medicines or going home. Second objective will be to discuss why it's so important that the patients understand what medicines they're taking, how it works, by what route, interactions, and things like that. So side effects are biggie. And the third objective is to learn at least one new piece of information today. Okay, so the background is we had a project to do, looked at HCAP scores, patient satisfaction records for Saratoga Hospital. And your scores were very good. Um, the lowest score on the HCAP was a 49 out of 100. And that was on um, noise. However, some one of my cohorts at work uh, school is doing that. So the second lowest score was the um, patients knowing what you know somebody the nurse telling somebody what met, what the medication was used for, what the medication is, how it works prior to administering it. Okay. So the reason they have to understand is because. They have to know why, how it works for a particular disease, what side effects to expect, if any, um, interactions or things like grapefruits, a biggie, things you shouldn't take with the medication. And studies and surveys show that many patients do not fully understand um, the information they're given or some of them don't even get the information. Okay, so this again, we're going to, I did a review of HCAP scores for this hospital um, PubMed articles about patient medication administration and then it was a comprehensive view of the problem and learn how to improve the process. So here's the HCAP scores and you can see Saratoga scored 66%. Yay. New York um, average was 59 and the national average is 64. Okay. But the goal is to have a 90%. So, all right. Now, one of the joint commission focuses for this year is gonna be medications, medication safety. The first thing is the labeling meds. When you're, lab when you're labeling meds, if you're at the Pixis or whatever, you have syringes, you have cups, you're preparing the meds. They all have to be labeled there. Um, they want extra care taken with patients taking blood thinners and um, you know making sure that you give them all the information they need about blood thinners and you know excessive bleeding and such and then medis medication reconciliation is a biggie so a lot of the hospitals now I believe you guys do have a med reconciliation medication reconciliation specialist just appointed for that job alone okay and then the findings were the patients wanted the staff to explain their medications to them prior to administering them at the hospital and also we have to ensure that the patients and the caregivers receive the information to go home so they can care for themselves and they can um, understand, you know, have something to refer back to at home. Okay, and most of the responsibility for the home care has shifted to the family and caregivers. That's why it's so important that not only the patient understands, the family has to as well. And the Joint Commission mandates that patient education has to address both the patient and the caregiver or family. And there's an example study. Um, they had some, it was cardiac patients and they participated in a, the thought was that they, um, that the patients knew enough about the medications to prevent errors. You know, they could say, hey, I don't normally take that dose or you better recheck on that a couple of times, okay. Prior to coming into the hospital, the patients um, knew all about their medications, but leaving the hospital, 
After the changes, most of the patients had no idea what they were taking, what the changes were. So it's really important. And they said there was very little evidence that the nurses used opportunities to educate the patient at all, like during med administration. For example, going in and saying, this is new medicine and this is what it's used for. Um, this is why the doctor prescribed it for you or you know, asking if the doctor explained everything to them. So now they went in knowing everything about their meds, had their lists and everything, and went out knowing nothing about their changes. So that was a biggie. And then understanding what, what is the drug used for? That's one of the things the patients want to know. And the reason it's important is because it it's, improves their knowledge about the drug and the condition it was prescribed for, and it promotes compliance. How, how does the drug work? Hey, this is Janine, how may I help you? It um, provides a rationale yeah. for its use in the treatment of the disease and it promotes okay. adherence to the uh, after treatment. How should the drug be taken? The optimal dose okay. and timing of ingestion is determined by scientific methods. Okay. Drugs provide right. their greatest benefits when taken as prescribed. If you deviate from the prescribed dose, it often leads to failure of the therapy or side effects. What to do if you miss a dose, that's really important. Should they double up or should they not take it at all? They need to know that. Because it could be really dangerous if they just start doubling up on their meds and find out they weren't supposed to do it. And then knowing which type, which is the correct remedy can prevent from you know, the therapy from failing or from side effects. And then what are the drug's side effects? That's really important because they, they can be, they can recognize, hey, I'm having some side effects and, you know, prevent, take action on it. Okay, what substances will interact with drugs? A lot of you know grapefruits and like a lot of herbal medicines, you have to let, explain to patients to tell the doctor if they're taking any herbal remedies or anything like that. A, grapefruit, I wouldn't tell any patients to take any medications with grapefruit because that doesn't, it interacts with a lot of meds. Okay, and then what you, you should expect the drug to do is important because some will provide um, temporary relief, some of it won't, some will cure the condition, and others will just be a temporary benefit. Okay, then to determine whether the drug is working like it's supposed to, they have to know what to expect and how long it will take to see the results. The next one is how should the drug be stored, and most of them should be stored at room temperature. Um, sometimes they have special conditions, so you have to check and make sure you, you find out about that. Okay, and then the generic drugs often have the same effect as, you know, the brand name drugs, but they're less expensive. So it's important, just ask the doctor if it would be okay to get a substitute, you know, and it might, uh, it'll have the same benefit and it'll cost the patient a lot less money. Okay, then lab tests. You have to make sure that you, you know, if they need to come in for any scheduled lab tests, um, you can tell them, you know, you need to come in because we have to check your levels, you know, to check if your blood's clotting correctly, you know, for example. Okay. And then, remember, make friends with the pharmacist because they're the experts and he or she will help you out. And I use them a lot in the hospitals. And uh, anytime I have a doubt, I just call them up. They're, they're never... They're always happy to give you the information. Um, just check it out with a pharmacist, what in doubt. And then don't, for di don't forget the discharge instructions. And you've got to be creative. You have to make sure they understand the instructions. You have to look for cultural you know, barriers and things like that. Um, they might not retain the information, especially if they're under stress or they're medicated or something like that. So um, there was a study um, that said many, uh, they, a lot of the patients did not retain any verbal information, especially under stress. One study found patients forgot 80% of what the clinicians told them, and 50% of the time they gave them the um, wrong recall information they didn't remember correctly. So they need to have something to fall back on that they can look at at home. And discharge medications. I already went over that. They do all, just make sure they have something that they can look at at home. You know, in case they have any questions, leave a number for them to call. And this will 
improve your patient safety, satisfaction, and compliance. And that's a lot of thank you for uh, listening to my presentation. And does anybody have any questions? Any questions? No? Well, great. Thank you for your time. Okay. Bye-bye.